everyone. Welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of 1940s style heels from old, uh, old leather shoes or leather heels. So let's get started. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to tape off the bottom with masking tape to make sure that the paint doesn't get onto the sole. Just make sure to do both heels. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use sandpaper to remove the old leather from on top of the buttons. And that was mainly because the buttons on my shoes were really worn, but you don't have to do this. If you have buttons that look fine or that you like the color of them, just keep them that way. But as an option, you can, you can remove the old leather with the sandpaper. Your next step is going to be to mix the paint. I used the Ceramic Coat Textile Medium along with acrylic paint and I did a one to one ratio of the medium to paint and added a little bit of water. The trick for painting leather is making sure that it's watered down and also making sure that you do really light layers and let them dry in between. Otherwise when they dry they will start to crack. So this is the first layer and it's really light. I'll probably be doing between two to three coats um, of each color depending on how dark it gets. So this is the second coat. and It's actually starting to look really dark. I think I'm going to only need two coats of the green. I am using two colors. I'm going to be using this forest green and also a dark red. And you can use any color combination you want, just as long as the paint is acrylic. Both coats are done, and now they've dried, as you can see. They look really good. And now I'm going to start on the other parts of the shoe that are going to be green. So I'm just starting off with really light layers and that really helps with leather. Um, otherwise you will get really defined lines where your brush was, like brush marks, and also it'll start to crack. So just have patience and let them dry in between, which helps a lot. So now I'm going to start with the red. I'm really excited to see what these two colors are going to look like together. So what you want to make sure here is just not to get it on the other part of the leather, otherwise it will be really difficult to get off. If you do get it on there, it's fine, just make sure to use some q-tips to take it off before it dries. Front's done. Now I'm going to work on the side. There was a little bit of dust on the shoe, so I had to brush it off before I started.
So I'm done with the first coat on that and now I'm going to work on the other heel while that dries. Both coats are done and now I'm working on the tongue of the heel and I'm just painting that green, just finishing it off. Just making sure not to get any paint on the elastic part. Now for the buttons. I cut out like a little circular piece of cardstock just to help make sure that I don't get the paint on the main part of the shoe. And we are done. They've been drying for about a day now and they're ready for a spray coat of sealant or you can also just leave them as they are. The colors match really well and I think that they look amazing. There's definitely a lot of difference between them before and then them after. And this is perfect for anyone that doesn't have enough money to spend on American Duchess or any of the other higher-end brands for historical shoes. Of course these aren't historically accurate, but they look close enough to the real thing that they would be perfect for any reenactment, any outfit, vintage clothing that you would have that you'd want to match them with, and they're really easy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It was my first one, so I'm sorry if it was a little choppy. But this is a new channel, and I hope you will comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks again.